Okay, back again. Now this video is about VBA Calculate and we're going to look at the multiplication of two columns. A typical, a typical thing that you're going to uh, be faced with is uh, getting a um, getting a dump from a mainframe and in that mainframe mainframe database you may have two columns in there that you want to multiply or do a calculation on here in particular we have units in stock and units on order okay uh, so you want to first of all make a record set based on this table here and then perform a calculation on these two columns okay by by doing this in VBA you have much more flexibility so that's why I choose VBA and you can use whatever calculation is we're gonna look at also uh, how to use a calculation in a uh, use of VBA code in a function in your in your uh, database object in a query so uh, stay tuned for that as well because I'm going to say that uh, later on in the video but first of all want to make a record set or a set of records based on this table and then isolate the columns units in stock and units on order here so if I look at my VBA code here okay loop products is my function and this example I'm saying okay I'm dimensioning a bit of bit of uh, a bit of code a bit of memory uh, for my record set I'm dimensioning my record set as an object and I'm sending a value, uh, another variable uh, to make a, for a SQL statement, SQL, STR, SQL string. So here I'm saying, just select for me these two columns, units, unit price, units in stock from this table, and then go ahead and also uh, set the records that object. I'm telling you what it's going to do at this point. I'm saying it's going to use the current database connection, open the records that and open up just the table with these two columns and then I'm gonna have every all the rows in my in my table there table object and I'm gonna put it into my record set so I can isolate everything down to this one thing and now I want to go ahead and loop through it um, again you'll probably get a dump for a mainframe you can just import into access and then uh, go ahead do your stuff uh, do your code do your manipulation and then spit it out into a, a final table a final output so here I'm going to go through and I'm going to loop through my records in the table bang and if you look at the immediate window where I'm spitting this out to I'm saying here are my values in the table now Okay, as I go on forward, I'm saying, oh wait, by the way, this database can be downloaded from VBAHowto.com. So you can use it as a uh, as an example database for you. Okay, uh, the second step I'm going to do, I'm going to select the same two columns, but I'm going to add another variable in the mix here, DBL result. I'm going to say the DBL result is going to be the column, this column, unit price column, times the units in stock and my result. And then I'm going to say my result is, is what, whatever the result is going to be of uh, unit price times units in stock. And the result is this, the result is this. So you may want to put a, a SQL insert to insert it into a table, and I'll do that in a another video. Actually, I have uh, I have this in another, another video, and I'll I'll put a link to it on the on the site there. Okay, uh, this last function here, um, last little process, I'm going to show you how to use uh, use this particular function inside of a query. So it's really simple. It's just calculate these two numbers number one number two and I'm going to say number one number two equals the result and calculate this now if I'm going back to my database here I have an object in here called uh, called cal QRY calculation okay this is my result now let's look at the uh, the code behind it notice that 
Uh, this is pretty pretty useful. I, I would say use the query also on the, as a record source for a form and report rather than having to do your calculation multiple times. But you can definitely use this. Uh, you can definitely do this multiple times if you want to. But I choose to do it one time. Minimize the amount of work. So I'm bringing in my two columns just so I can see what the unit price is, units on stock. My result is going to be calculate this and then open print and then number one and number two. Okay. The database is it's in the data this module is in the database that we know what calculate this is. And we go ahead and do it. And we run this it performs the calculation based on those two fields. So eighteen dollars times thirty nine pieces of stock is seven hundred two is my result. Okay, and uh, in order for this video to get, not to get too long, I want to advise you out to vbehowto.com and pick up the the uh, the sample database. And also, you can learn a lot. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me at eric at lobocomservices.com and make sure you subscribe and make sure that you rate the video. If uh, hopefully it provides. Uh, help to you in what whatever your need is. Okay, great. And thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. Thanks, bye.